This application here was built using Lovable and it is on the App Store right now. In this video, I want to show you how you can build a mobile application directly inside of Lovable and actually get it on the App Store and Google Play Store. Plus, you will have full access to all native features like in-app purchases, push notifications, native contact access, and over 20 more of them. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, we want to make sure that we set up the Lovable project correctly. You can take an existing project and use the page here, the documentation with the pre-made prompts, lovable.despia.com to get the prompts for like deep linking to get the prompts for revenue cat, to get the prompts for one signal. But in this example, we're going to use the master prompt to set up the whole project for us. So on this page, you have my lovable blueprint for building mobile applications in lovable with hardware acceleration, deep OS integrations, in-app purchases, and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really great shortcut because you only go here to this master prompt section, click on open prompt in lovable, and it will automatically open the prompt in Lovable. You select your workspace. And now what it's doing is it's putting this whole master prompt for building beautiful, highly functional, without any memory loss, mobile applications in Lovable. And it will tell Lovable to create a couple of files. It will create a readme file with reference that we're using the Despia SDK for native functionalities. It will create a Despia readme file, which will tell Lovable exactly how to integrate all the native functionalities. And it will then also add comments everywhere so it never loses memory and implements the native features 100% correctly most of the times. So there you go. Now we can even go to the next level because if we go to the blueprint again, we can go to the custom memory and this custom memory can be added to make Lovable even better at building mobile applications. So if you go to your project, go to settings, go to knowledge, and then add this custom memory here to Lovable for building the mobile application, it's going to be even better at doing so. So now, as you can see, Lovable is saying, I understand this comprehensive Despia integration guide for building native mobile apps in Lovable. This outlines the architecture for native layer for Despia native, revenue cat purchases with server authority unlock, sign in with Apple using Apple JS and custom edge functions, deep links using AASA and asset links JSON, push notifications via one signal, mobile first UI with safe areas and stable navigation. Before I want to, before I set up the infrastructure, I need to know what app you're building, a subscription-based content app, a productivity tool, a social media. So you can build anything in it. Let's do a productivity tool. I think that's going to be a nice application here. Let's build a productivity tool. And now I'm going to send this to Lovable. And now it has the whole framework, the whole blueprint, the whole architecture. It knows how to add all the native functionalities into it. And it's now setting it all up beautifully for you. Now, if you already have an existing Lovable project, what you can do is you can then go into the native features here into this prompt library for native Lovable mobile applications and say, hey, you know, let's target the revenue cat prompt. I need to have add revenue for native um, in-app purchases like those here, right? With revenue cat. And then you just copy the specific prompt and that will then, you know, make sure that this can be added into your existing application. But we now have a way to start the whole project correctly from the beginning to make it a super seamless and smooth experience. So there you go. Now it will create a productivity tool with task management, nodes, progress tracking, and it's mobile optimized with the Despia native integration. So this is going to be amazing. Now, you may ask yourself the question, okay, this is great. I can add native functionalities in Lovable. I can set all of that up. How am I going to get this now on the App Store? How am I going to get this on the Google Play Store? How am I going to do updates? And those are good questions. And there is a way to do this with the Despia Cloud Solution. So 
Despia doesn't just give you this SDK that gives you all access to the native features in the runtime. Despia also gives you a no code publishing system. Normally, when you build a mobile application, you need to open Xcode, you need to open Android Studio, you need to configure hundreds or thousands of native files, set that framework up or work with the command line to use some packaging systems. And that's a hassle. And it doesn't work. Sometimes you open the app, you get a white screen and results are not guaranteed. You need to be a developer and expert to do that. And even developers and experts don't like doing it because it's quite a lot of work bundling those things together. So Despia does all of that for you with a 100% guarantee that it will actually work and go to the App Store and be submitted as a draft on the App Store and the Google Play Store because it's always the same system. It's always the same framework. So with that being said, what Despia does, it gives you this framework to add native features, push notifications, in-app purchases, face ID, native contact access, health kit, NFC, whatever you want, like literally everything that you could ever imagine. You have one click publishing. So you do one click on the dashboard and you're doing and submitting an update to the app store. And then you have over the air updates. So when you want to update your application, you don't have to rebuild your application, wait 10 days for Apple to approve the update. You can do all your updates in real time directly from Lovable. So you just go to your Lovable app, go on publish, publish, and then make an update. And this will automatically update your mobile application that's on the store and it's fully store compliant because they do allow over the air updates. So there you go. So this is quite cool. So let's get started with it. So we can then just go to ship to native and create a new project. So let's create a new project here. Now we need to have a good name. So let's ask Claude to come up with a good name because I'm not that creative. Give me good, good unused app names for my productivity app. There you go. So now it's going to come up with some good names for my productivity app that are hopefully not used on the App Store yet. Uh, Stride, Momentum. I like Momentum, but um, Apex, Flow State, Task Pilot, Focus Forge, Clear Path, um, Task State. There you go. Day Frame, Sharp Work, Nexus. Let's do Flow State. I like Flow State. Probably. Um, there are probably multiple apps that are called like this, but I'm fine with that. So let's call it the app name Flow State. Now we need the web app start URL. So Despia can remotely load your application UI and the logic from your lovable application. So you're just going to copy this link address here. Could be also your custom domain. And it needs to be HTTPS. And you're just going to paste this inside of here. Now it creates a bundle ID. You can customize it if you want or already have an existing one. And then we create a new application and now it's all set up just like this. So now you have your application project set up. And now here's where the beautiful thing comes. If you go to publish app, you can, you know, uh, one click, connect with your Apple developer account, connect with your Google developer account, right? You don't have to open Xcode. You don't have to open Android Studio. You essentially have an easier code editor that is fully visual running in the browser for building mobile applications with Despia. It's a full no code alternative to using something like Xcode with capacitor and then cursor on top of that. It does it all no code for you or with Android Studio. So you have Apple iOS, Android Studio, it abstracts all the you know, all the complexities, but it still gives you full access to then export the code if you need to, and then possibly open it into Xcode, open it in Android Studio. If there's something really custom that you need to have implemented that we didn't think of yet, even though you can just tell us to add it and we'll do that, um, it will be on the roadmap then. But you can always export the code. You own your code, not like all of the other conversion tools that are like a monthly subscription. You pay and you never get rid of them because they own your key store. They own everything. You can't migrate off of them. We don't do that. You can export your key store. You can bring your custom key store if you don't trust us with the key store generation. So it's fully open, no vendor lock-in, but it gives you a very nice abstracted interface so you don't have to deal with Xcode. So it's fully no code and great for Vibe coders. 
And then we can set up all those stuff visually, like the splash screen. You see, it's like a full no-code editor for setting up all those native features. You have the native add-ons. You can create quick actions, custom shortcuts, a little bit of code needed for that, actually. But it abstracts all of those complexities when you're setting up native applications. Also, the publishing process. You can do complex stuff like creating smart widgets that people can add on their home screen and setting up app clips and then doing share into app. And it's all fully, you know, visual to set that all up. And then export code anytime you own the whole source code, it's yours. And then one click publishing to create the key store and just one click to publish it to the store. So it's very simple. So with that being said, now you know what desk is, how you get it on the store with this beautiful visual interface. Let's take a look at the lovable application. So Lovable now says I'll create a productivity tool. Okay, create a mobile first productivity tool with task management, notes and progress tracking plus Despia integration set up with Despia README. Now, if we take a look at the code, what the Despia master prompt is doing is it's creating a Despia README file, which outlines exactly how Lovable has to set up all the native functionalities for Despia so it can never lose the context. It can never get AI dementia. So that's very important, right? So there you go. So you can always reference that file. And as you can see, we already have a mobile optimized interface for this application right inside of here that lets us ask new tasks. So we can add a new task, new task, and it works. There you go. And then we can check the task or uncheck the task. And if we reload, it should have started in local storage. No, it didn't. So there's some stuff we can work with that. But we got this whole thing now going on. As you can see, I got my tasks, a new task. Let's add that. And let's try reloading the page. Okay, so we need to set up the authentication now, and that will probably be the next step. But there you go. This is how you do the first part of it. And now we have this all connected with Despia. Now there are some other steps that we need to do. And this will be actually a multi-part series. So there will be a whole playlist. I'll link that in the description down below. This was the start. This was the core prompt. Now we'll make next videos about adding login with Apple, setting up authentication, setting up login with Google, then adding all the native features, doing in-app purchases for iOS, in-app purchases for Android, monetizing this whole thing. Then we're going to together, step by step, Publish it and submit it to the Apple App Store. Publish and submit it to the Google Play Store. So make sure to not miss any of the following videos. This is the start of a whole series. And I think it'll be like a five to six hour full course, detailed step by step. I want to walk you through the whole process and going from lovable to App Store and getting approved on there. So thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see the next parts of this.